So, morning. so, what's so special about mornings? Isn't nighttime the best time to have a good time? Nighttime is when we go with our friends and we have a bunch of drinks and completely forget about what we did that night, or at least we wish we did. But maybe you're not into that, and instead, every night, you would rather just sit down and relax and watch Netflix until 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we all have to admit that nighttime is really awesome. So I'll repeat the question, what's so great about mornings? To be honest, I really didn't have a clue myself until I read a book called The Morning Miracle. In my, head's mor in my head, morning was a time where I smashed the alarm clock off, I rub the sand out of my eyes, and drink, and drink, and drink coffee until I start my day. <laughs> but as I started to read this book, my ideas on morning started to change. At one point, I even asked myself, can I become a morning person? <laughs> As you open the book, you don't have a whole lot of time to think about becoming a morning person because the author gives you a challenge right off the bat. Wake up for 30 days at 6 o'clock a.m. even on weekends. To me, that sounded very rough. Not very fun at all. I did not want to wake up from my weekends at 6 o'clock in the morning. However, I thought, why not give it a shot? And Thankfully for me, the author gave me five really helpful tips to help wake up in the mornings. Tip number one was to set my intentions before bed. Now, this sounds like some self-help hoo-ha, but I found that this was actually incredibly helpful. On the days where I was had a uh, work the next day and I had a long day, I had reports due, I was much less willing to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. However, on the days where I was going to go see my family, or I spent time with my girlfriend, or come in to Toastmasters, I was much more willing to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So now every morning, or every night, sorry, before I go to bed, I close my eyes and I spend one or two minutes just to think about some good things I'm gonna do the next morning. So set my intentions before bed. Step number two, is to get out of your bed to turn off the alarm clock. That's right, some self-sabotage to your future self. It's a really easy to put the snooze button or to turn off your alarm and sleep in a little bit later when the alarm is right next to you. So I went and put my alarm inside of my closet. And trust me, the alarm is annoying enough to still wake me up. <laughs> so now instead of being able to just turn the alarm off super easy, I had to walk all the way across my room, open up the closet, then all the way down, just walk <laughs> It's incredibly annoying, and my morning self is not too happy with my nighttime self. But it is very effective in waking me up. Tip number three is to brush your teeth. No, the author is not trying to get me to have better oral hygiene. Instead, he's getting, trying to get me to wake up. Right after turning the alarm clock, he recommends to go into the bathroom and brush your teeth. Sounded kind of weird at first, I thought it was one of the weirdest tips out of all of them, but hey, um, I'm willing to try it. Right after turning the alarm clock, I now go into the bathroom, turn on the sink, grab the toothbrush, grab some toothpaste, brush my teeth. It does help to have that whole process, because typically you do brush your teeth when you're waking up in the morning and getting ready for, for your day. So doing that, plus getting that minty feel in your mouth, is incredibly helpful, I have to admit. Mm -hmm. Tip number four, this is my favorite tip of all, is to drink a full glass of water. Mm -hmm. It's funny that we are told to drink eight glasses of water every single day, yet we typically don't drink water right when we wake up in the morning. We spent almost eight hours sleeping, and we have had zero liquids during that time. So we wake up feeling very tired and dehydrated. So first thing I do now is drink a full glass of water, and that has been incredibly helpful in helping me wake up at six. The last tip, tip number five, is to get out of your sleeping clothes and get dressed into your workout clothes. Why is that? Because immediately right when I wake up now, I work out. This has been something I've been trying to do for a very long time, to have a consistent workout routine. And by the time I finish my work day, I'm just typically too tired or very unwilling to work out. So now the first thing I do is put on those workout clothes and either go for a run or do some strength training. Not only does that make me feel better throughout the whole rest of the day because I already have my workout done, but I am definitely woke up after that point. Trust me, if you go out for a run 
at six o'clock in the morning at 38 degrees and you're still not woken up, <laughs> nothing wrong. <laughs> so, after my 30 day quest, I asked myself that same question that I asked all of you today. What's so special about mornings? Well, now that I've experienced it, mornings are a time of quiet. A time where the world hasn't started yet and you can get started with your day without the hustle and bustle of the mornings, or sorry, the, the day starting. It's also a time of great productivity. I found that starting my day quicker when I'm fully rested is a lot better than waiting to procrastinate till the end of the day. So would I really call myself a morning person after all of this? I would say that is my desire, but I would not say that I am there just yet. All I can do is take it one morning at a time. Thank you so much. Thank you.